Troy, it's such an emotional day on so many different levels. I, I want to get your emotions, but first, how were the couples who were tying the knot finally, uh, what were their emotions like today from what you saw? Uh, it, it, was, it was breathtaking, just the, uh, the love on display. You saw so many loving and committed couples that had been waiting, some of them for decades, to have the dignity of marriage and to, to finally get to see them take that step and to legally take that step. It, it was amazing. What about for you? You've been fighting for this for so long. First to see same-sex marriages actually performed and then to find out that there would be no further challenges to them, that this was going to be the law of New Jersey going forward. What was going through your mind and your heart today? Um, well, last night was extremely emotional and waking up this morning to the news that the governor had decided to um, drop the appeal it was, uh, it was shocking. All I could think about was the, the amount of work our staff uh, put into pulling off these weddings. I mean, we had to arrange judges and, and get people licenses and, and really jump through a lot of hurdles put in our way by the state. But what we ended up with was dozens of couples throughout the state actually being allowed to get married. And I think the governor and, and the world, the nation, woke up to seeing the faces of those couples on TV. And I think it was one thing for him to stand in the way of their civil rights for all these years. But to actually see the fruition of their marriages, I, I think it would have been hard for even him to have said, I want to rip those away. I want to take those rights away from you. I, I, I think that he woke up this morning and realized that he, there was only one thing he could do, and that was get out of the way. Well, you know politics as well as anybody in New Jersey, Troy. Do you think that it was a political decision by Governor Christie, or do you think it really was an emotional, heartfelt, uh, internal decision from him? I would like to believe the latter, but uh, we never know. I mean, there's a, we are in a political monster of a state, so um, I will give credit where credit is due and say he finally, he finally saw the light and got out of the way. Just a bit of housekeeping, do you still want to try to get this past the legislature or through a referendum, or are you fine just letting the state Supreme Court have the final say on this in New Jersey? We've never wanted to go to the ballot. Uh, I'm talking to Senate and Assembly leadership today. I'm actually off to Trenton as soon as I finish this, hopefully, to have some conversations. And we will um, we'll see what the next steps are. But this Supreme Court made a really strong decision and the governor has decided not to appeal it. So what I do know now is this is full and total victory. Uh, the state of New Jersey has marriage equality, and there's nothing anybody can do to take that away. What would you say to count your counterpart in other states where uh, marriage equality is not yet legal, considering New Jersey is, has a Republican governor who managed to finally turn the corner on this and, and make marriage equality the law of the state? I would say don't ever give up. Um, when... Nine months ago, when, when I promised that we would have marriage equality this year, people laughed at me. Uh, they scoffed, and here we are. Um, today, it's official. Couples have been marrying since midnight, um, and it's not going to stop now or ever. Are you still comfortable with this process moving state by state, or are you hoping that the Supreme Court of the United States, or perhaps even the Congress, makes this a national, all 50 state law? I think within the next five years, we'll, say, we'll see um, every state in the country have the freedom to marry. I think this will be an issue that is behind us, and thank God. And finally, Troy, you can now drive up, starting in Washington, D.C., all the way to the tip of Maine, all along the eastern seaboard and, and up through New England, and have marriage equality on the books all over the Northeast. Did you think you'd see the day? Well, obviously Absolutely. you did, but did you think it would come this far, this fast, and, and this quickly? I have chills just thinking about the question you asked, but you're right. The entire eastern seaboard of the United States um, is now a lot freer. Well, Troy, congratulations and uh, thanks for your work on so many couples' behalfs. And you enjoy this night in a way that few probably can, so congratulations. Thank you so much.